Hey guys, it's Josh here. Today, I'm going to show you how I do underhook for gather pass. Underhook is one of the most important locks in Jujutsu. Especially when I do gather pass, I really prioritize the lock to make good control and complete gather pass. Hope it works for you guys to improve your gather pass. Okay, like I said in the intro, there are several types of way to make under that I like to do. That today I just want you to understand the difference each other. It's gonna be great help for you to be able to improve your gut pass. Let's start with the abdominal underhack. It's a little away from the upper body. The time right after create an issue like this, either from standing or half curl, even knee cut like this. So this position, the best case scenario I'm gonna show you later, it's gonna be the for under, regular underhand to reach your control far side shoulder like this. But it's a huge gap. If I rush to do it, he can remake knee shield and travel like you try showing the other video. Or there's a huge gap before I reach his armpit with my armpit, which means he can easily make frame like this. Or worst case, once he hides his right, left arm out of my armpit, I'm too late. I can no longer recover position. Then, I'm in trouble. So, in this situation, instead of going for the upper body, we like to start with controlling the abdominal line, abdominal underhack. Instead of driving your head forward, it's more like a driving head to the side, like this. Yeah, literally this is the same move as the underhack we try against the upper body. We like to use the armpit. I drive my weight here. Either he makes frame or not, I want to manage to keep his arm in front of me. I don't want to make any space at all between my armpit and his belt, around his belt. Here, I keep it tight. The actions are literally the same as the under hack. Once I set it up, I want to put most of my weight on his left hip bone, here. Then I can make the control, like abdominal under hack. That, he cannot under hack back from this position. Then this position, you don't still need to rush yet. You start making a dominant control to control opponent's hips like this. So once I set up, you can complete a knee cut like this. Well, you can even find a cross space and move up. I shouldn't wait to do this one. Or like, you can reinforce a position with making a grip. So right after doing it, his seat should be sideways like this. Then if I stay around here, it's not a good position. He chest is a point of this direction, my chest is a point of this direction. Just in case, he may be to find a space, like he circles his head in to get an underhook like this, although I try to manage to keep it tight. So this case, I wanna make a grip with my right hand. So I wanna grab along his spine, like this. That's like a right above his belt. So that is gonna be the great leverage for me to pull myself back. This is not driving away forward, like a staying connected with him. Then it's way easier to close my elbow to keep tight around my armpit too. As I do so, it's so hard for him to find a space. Like I explained, since I make the grip along his spine, this is a great way for me to stay around his abdominal line, which means it's so hard for him to find a space like this. Then even though I don't reach his left shoulder, I have created a test that I make the under on the left side of his body like this. Then once I can make the car grip higher like this, yeah, this is kind of like the knee cut Kyle Taylor likes to do. It's like using the forearm blade to get a point flat on the mat. Then, even though he tries to pinch my ankle like this, I can easily clear out to escape. Then just in case, he may turn to my side in order to defend. So in this situation, I can make the frame that I trap his neck like this. Even this time, I follow the idea and manage to stay along his abdominal line with the grip. Then if he gets sideways, he makes space, this wide of space is opening above his head. I step his head over. Then I can even do choke, Kanto choke or Kyotera choke. This is possible to do that with the abdominal underhack. Right, next one, for an idea. After I make abdominal lock like this, I can move up to make upper body control. But most of the time in this situation, he wants to keep his left forearm in front of me like this. 
Yeah, this is a very realistic situation. He doesn't want to hold my body like this. If that happens, I can look for the best case scenario. Or like, uh, I don't think he doesn't even, I don't think he even, want, even wants to go like this. Most of the time, he wants to manage to use his left arm on my for, uh, neck around here. But if that happens, we can move up. So to make the half and the hook. So from this position, I don't need to literally clear out his arm, not going like this. If I can, that could be great. But as you can see that there's been a gap between here and here. Once he can hide his arm, like to show you in the last one, I'm in trouble. I will get under hack. That's what I have to avoid. It. So from here, I want to simply slide up to reach his armpit. That's the half under hack. So from here, I move up to come around here. Even though he makes frame, his frame is getting weaker. It's not a proper angle that he can make the leverage since I start opening his elbow like this. I want to manage to keep my elbow, like armpit tight, under his armpit like this, under his elbow. Then if I need, I even grab Kapi's shoulder or like her car like this. Then I can make a tight control. Then I want you to be careful of that. You're not gonna lean to the side or like uh, posture up. Otherwise, you will get underhook like this. Uh, as an idea, if the arm's a little shallow like this, you can even do more like opening your person's elbow, cup to elbow, then you move up like this. So in this case, it's important to use your throat or face to trap the list in order to make the half underhook tight. So here, I even use my head like this. As I do so, it's pretty difficult for him to clear out his arm, although he wants to do it. Then I can make the dominant control for guard pass. Even once I come around this line, like on his upper body line, I can make the cross face, the upper body control like this, the gable trap with the half underhook. So if you understand the idea, you don't need to make the full underhook all the time. You just need to open the elbow. Then you can make the really tight control. Next one, I want to show the shallow underhook. That we can use from a standing pass, like knee cut. Right, next one, shallow underhook. That I really like to do for the gather pass from standing knee cut or this type of distance. So a situation here, he makes the reverse of the hebrew or like this kind of situation. Then, as you can see that it's pretty difficult for me to last two of them. Even though I want to do it, I got flamed. Yeah, I can even reach his armpit. That's why it's temporary, I just want to take it off to come around here. Kind of Nika situation. Then I want to stay in the same range. That's why, other hand, I grab his color like this. Then I can keep the range from here. Then if I can cry his knee shield, that's going to be abdominal underhack. I can do. But most of the time, this should be really tight that I cannot clear out since he sits sideways. Now, I want to make the shell underhook. Like he gets his arm around here or here. I start sw swinging my arm to trap around the shoulder like this. Now, I want you to see that I need to use my arm in multiple ways in order to make shell underhook. So this one, I'm not going to reach his armpit or shoulder. Otherwise, I'm exposing my arm like this. So, like this, I managed to hold his shoulder and then I use my shoulder and biceps to trap around his wrist and the forearm. Now this is shallow under hack. It's a very strong position. Even though it tries to get flat on the mat, I can still keep the leverage, the idea like this. Then this position, I'm going to slide out to the guard pass. But I want you to be careful that your arm needs to be really tight and active. Once you extend the arm, you'll get counter-attacked. I show the best case scenario once. So here around this position, I hold and shout on the head, this. Then I slide it once, like this. Look how I keep on closing the elbow like this. Then two cases I can expect it. Once I can drive my weight on him, I can complete a guard pass. But most of the time, shell on the head is not good enough to pin my opponent, pin him. That's why he wants to stay sideways like this. So in this case, I want you to see the situation. I still keep the underhook, shell underhook that I trap around his elbow, which means I isolate his arm. So I'm gonna step over to the other side for the armbar. Then I can strain to the armbar from guard pass. This is a benefit of shallow underhook. All 
All right, one more. Let's get back to the basic for under hack, the regular under hack. Yeah, it's very basic technique. That's why you may feel that it's Yoshi. I don't need to know that one. But let's just check these details again in order to use the underhook tight. Underhook that I show in this video is about guard pass. There's been other ways I like to do for guard or half curl. That's gonna be another scenario today. Anyhow, I just wanna show you the way that I like to do for guard pass. So four, I've created an arm like this, or his arm is around here. Now I wanna look for the underhook like this, the full underhook. There's been so many ways to do that. People really like to drive away like this or just holding the shoulder. All you wanna do is trap your partner's arm. That is the most important thing in order to keep the underhack, right? So in order to do full underhack, you gotta go with your body, not with your arm. Last couple of them is more like using your arm, shallow or like a half. But this one, you go with your arm, like pinching a person's shoulder with your arm, like this. So once I clear the task, he cannot find a space to get underhack back. Although he tries to do, he can do that. If you understand the other idea, you can shift to it. If you spray me on me, like this, half underhook idea. Or if he tries to get his arm in, that case I even make it shallower. So four is one of dominant positions. Once you make it, you don't want to mess it. But you don't need to stick to doing it as well. As an option, you can do, switch to the other idea that I showed you. Then once I set up, it's free for me to drive my way like this. Then he cannot find a space. Even this time, I don't want you to push up if you push out, just in case he can find a space to make frame or underhook, then you're gonna use one of the best positions. So, underhook with your head or upper body. That's the task you need to clear. As you do so, this is really tight control. Then you can make better control like this, then gotta pass. All right, this is how I like to do underhook. You've seen that there's been slightly different ways to make underhook in every single one of them. If you can use those of them, it's gonna be way easier for you to make a good control for Gather Pass. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please just hit the like button, give us any comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already yet. Thank you guys, I'll you guys catch the next one. Bye.